This four-legged daredevil is the Alex Honnold of the animal kingdom. And just like Honnold, this death-defying creature is not afraid to climb steep vertical cliffs. The alpine ibex feels at home on mountains that most humans dare not tread upon. But just because the ibex has evolved to live in these environments doesn't mean it's not dangerous for them. They don't climb for fun. They climb to survive. So how high can the ibex climb? What makes them so good at it? And why do they risk their lives on these sheer cliffs? The alpine ibex is a species of mountain goat known for their distinct and impressive curved horns, which continue growing throughout their lives. Males have longer and thicker horns that can reach lengths of one and a half meters. Their horns are mainly used for self-defense, but are also part of ibex mating tactics. Females tend to choose the male with the largest horns. Mm. Most commonly found in Germany, Switzerland, and Austria, ibex prefer colder climates and live at elevations around 3,200 meters. The world's tallest skyscraper, Dubai's Burj Khalifa, is 829.8 meters high. Ibex live more than four times higher. Eek! Oh boy, here comes my vertigo. While female ibex tend to inhabit bushy areas and forests, male ibex typically hang around rocky cliffs. When winter covers the vegetation and snow, they descend the mountain in search of food. They live in meadows and forests until they can return to their beloved mountaintops. The hills are alive. In addition to navigating these treacherous cliff faces with ease, ibex can jump 1.8 meters high and from a standstill, no less. That means an ibex can jump higher than the airman himself, Michael Jordan, whose famed vertical leap was 1.2 meters. This is thanks to their specialized cloven hooves, which have sharp edges and concave undersides. Their unique shape creates a suction cup effect that allows the ibex to attach to cliffside terrains and traverse narrow pathways. The hooves' tough outer edge is made of keratin, like their horns. It's the same substance that forms skin and hair, but the inner part of their toe is rubbery, giving them the finesse to quickly adjust to harsh, changing terrains. Ibex can also move each toe independently, adding precision to their spectacular balance and climbing abilities. They can make evasive maneuvers on small ledges, helping them escape predators like golden eagles, wolves, and bears. Despite their specialized abilities, just one slip or an eagle's peck can knock an ibex off balance, sending them to their death. So what's the point of this dangerous rigmarole? The answer is salt. Ibex are herbivores that eat mostly grass. Unfortunately, grass lacks many of the nutrients and minerals ibex need, especially sodium. Like humans, ibex with sodium deficiency can suffer muscle and nerve problems. When water from rain or snow starts to evaporate from rocks, it often leaves salt and other minerals behind. So the intrepid ibex will climb to great heights to lick these salty stone slabs. They sometimes travel great distances for salt licks, up to 24 kilometers. When traveling near highly trafficked hiking trails, they will even lick human urine, which is very high in sodium, to get their fix. Ugh. I'll just take a coconut water, please, and thank you. Alpine ibex aren't the only goats with odd habits. This myotonic goat may look dead, but it's not. Find out why on another episode of Crazy Creatures. Climbing cliffs and licking salt is what alpine ibex do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.